Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome back to the next video in solution architecture series. And today we are going to understand the process of solution delivery and also the solution de delivery life cycle. Uh, so let's get started. So usually it depends on organization. It's more or less a generalized way of design delivery that I'm, I'm trying to uh, present you or will go through. So what usually happen, as I mentioned at the very beginning, I guess in the first or second video in solution architecture, there are like two kinds of architecture, gen generalized architect and specialist architect. Uh, you, uh, f in few of the companies, the generalized architect also uh, known as portfolio architect or, uh, you know, a pre-sales architect or different names as per the organization. So the more or less it is like an architect who is well versed in all the different technology, like all the public clouds or the private cloud and things like that, so that he can talk to the customer and come up with the initial design or the high level uh, design or the high level planning or high level plan HLP. So it starts from here. Once, once uh, the HLP is done, customer is all okay with the high level design, he sign up. And then there is a handover call happens between uh, generalized architect and specialist architect. A specialist architect is someone like us or someone <laughs> like me, or uh, like I am a specialist architect working with Rexspace, I've mentioned so many times. And the, the, this is my channel. These are my views as per my past experience, more than 13 years. So uh, then there is a handover call happens so that specialist architects get involved and get into the details, absolute details and the requirements, what actually customer is looking for, gather all that information, all that requirement, and then analyze what HLD proposed, what needs to change in the HLD, or is it going to, uh, if it is going to drastic change, then of course there, uh, then then we'll push back to the generalized architect so that they can go ahead and do uh, all those kind of remediation or modification that we have noticed, which were not captured in the in the HLD phase. So in a specialist architect handover call, it is like. Generalized architect will provide all the information that he has gathered and he will walk you through the HLP that he has uh, planned for the customer or customer sign up for. And afterwards, it's, it's in a different phase where specialist architect is gonna take care of everything. Specialist architect will gather all the information. If it is an existing customer, he must have the access or he is, if he is not, then he could uh, request for the access if it is an existing environment. If it is a green field, then there would be sessions and working sessions and meetings involved with the customer where, where uh, he will try to understand the vision and the requirement of the customer and all the details which are required to present a detailed design. And once, this, once that requirement is done, then uh, he'll present a detailed design, which includes the documentation, information about each and every component or the resource that design is uh, built off. And also the architecture design is there in the DD. Uh, then once this is approved, then it will hand over to build. There is a build team involved because now once the design is uh, approved, then build team will get involved and build that infrastructure with the help of IAC, infrastructure as code like Terraform or templates. Prior to build, there would be an engagement between the build engineers and the customer as well, because build will prepare the run books and it, it involves a lot of things like the naming convention, like the side range of the virtual network, those kind of things. And once customer approve, then there would be a deployment and delivery happens. So it, in, in a nutshell, this is an overview of the solution delivery process. Let's go through the uh, solution delivery life cycle. Okay, so here it is, solution delivery life cycle. 
So it is, it is, it starts with the business requirement, what customer is actually looking for. Then there would be an analysis done by the solution architect, like functional and non-functional requirement. What is the approach? What all needs to be done, taken care of, whether it's possible, not possible, and if possible, how? Right, those kind of thing. Then POC is uh, is done on the basis of that analysis and recommendation is provided. Afterwards, there is a, a SA or solution architect develops a design, a solution design, which includes the DD, right? The entire documentation and the architecture design diagram. And once it is approved, then the development development team come into the picture and as it works with the development teams to bridge between the business and the technical team. Then we have integration and testing, okay? Solution architect make sure that the final solution is working as expected with all functional and non-functional requirement. Then we have the implementation. Here again, as it works with the development and the de development team for smooth implementation and guides them through if there is any hindrance, then of course we have operations and management. This is uh, where the SMA sure logging and monitoring are in place and guides the team on scaling and disaster recovery as required. So this is this is a generalized life cycle of uh, solution delivery, and uh, this is a process of solution delivery, more or less same kind of thing. But here I have. Uh, included all the phases in any organization that happens because in organization there are different different teams different uh, for different phases like HLD for the uh, first phase then we have specialist architect for the detailed phase then we have build team and everything is coordinated by the PM or OM like project manager or or onboarding manager but this is more of a generalized thing what solution architect does or participate in the solution delivery life cycle well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye, -bye.